reason Doc is not here tonight, he came back a little earlier. He had to go to the dentist the other day. I don't know why I'm laughing. Oh, Going to the dentist is no Poor fun, and he God. had root canal work. Oh. And he came back, he looked like a squirrel storing up nuts for the summer. <laughs> he tried to come in last night, so oh. Tom is filling in. Uh, if you just join us, we have Betty White, Jeff Seidman, uh, the Mighty Carson Art Players, and this man, who's very funny, comedian and actor, uh, just finished a movie called The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. You see, now, years ago, you couldn't have said that. No. You had had to say the best little house of... Fun. Fun. <laughs> couldn't have said that at all. No. Um, he'll be performing at the Westbury Music Fair on Long Island for one week starting November the 17th, and then he'll be at Valley Forge, Pennsylvania for a week starting December the 1st. That's a cold time to be there, as George Washington will tell you. <laughs> Washington was also at Valley Forge, but n- not in the round. <laughs> what? When he was addressing the troops, no, he was no. in the round. Sure. Washington always liked a proscenium stage. He never worked around. <laughs> would you would you welcome Dom Deloise? That's amazing. We almost didn't make it, you know? <laughs> oh, jeez. It's so... You're really crazy. Wonderful. I feel like... Yes, you put that in joke good... in about the horse and the mule. And, yes, whatever. And then it doesn't work and you laugh and you make a living from not getting That's laughed. Right. <laughs> he goes, oh, you, you just do don't... what you have to do. I know, I know. That's nice when you come out. Uh, Italians are known for touching, I mean, embracing. I without did. Any, without any feeling of being... Um, a non-macho, you know? Oh, you kidding? Hey, wait. Whoa. <laughs> no, I, you know, I know what it's from. I just did a movie where I spent eight weeks with people and you kiss and hug and I didn't even think of it. I, don't, I, didn't, even, I didn't even think that I was kissing. Um, well, you weren't kissing, but it's nice to, to a hugging. Kiss. You know, I see bird, I bite him and, you know, yeah. on the ear and stuff. Generally, like men don't do that in this country. Well, you know, but uh, it's nice. Just to... right, I'm, I'm no, coming no, out no, again. No, 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 no. Coming out again. <laughs> Play the same music. <laughs> Dom DeLuise. Nice to be here on the uh, Tonight Show. Did you ever notice the more macho guys, uh, especially in football, there's a lot of back uh, backside. Yes, they touch. Yeah. Oh, they hey, have a hey. wonderful time with me. Yeah. The whole team could grab my at the same anyway. time. There's room for everybody. You have been working on the picture, the best little whorehouse in Texas, based, yes. based on the Broadway play with Dolly Parton. Yes. And oh. Bert. I have fallen in love with her. She's a nice lady. She she's, really is a nice gal. Talented. She's dear. She's sweet. wonderful. Yeah. You know, uh, when I met, met her, it took me about three days to, to get to know that she was pretty. Because, I, I mean, I literally would not, seriously, no, I... couldn't, couldn't get past her neck. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, th- this is me looking at her. Can you see her shot? This is me looking at her right away. Hello, Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> like a little puppy, you know. <laughs> I mean, and she, she is, is gorgeous. She, she is ample. Ample, as they say. Ample. The fact that she can stand up straight, I think, is really wonderful. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And sometimes she jogs to work and I have a big problem with that because she gets oh, black eyes. Oh, no. no. <laughs> John, I'm not making this up. This is, this is some of the... And she has tiny little feet. She does. Nothing grows in the shade. <laughs> how many, uh... That's it. That's it? That's, how many, it. that's it. That's it. No. How many more of these descriptive no, jokes no. do you have? Is that about cover it? <laughs> that, okay. that doesn't cover it because... Right. Okay. Take more to cover it. Now, okay. The name, people who are not familiar with, with that title would, would sound like that's a racy, rather... Well, racy. it is racy. You can refer to it as, as the chicken ranch if you like. It's less offensive. I think people do kind of straighten up and say, ooh, you know, you can't talk about that movie. But it's a movie about human feelings, and it's, a, it's, not, it's, not, it's not offensive no. at all. There is nudity. 
But it's not offensive to me. Yeah. I like that stuff, you know? <laughs> it's all... It's all relative, right? Yes. Did you have to did you have to work in this picture of songs clothing? No, I wear clothes. But everybody else is nude. Not everybody. No, not everybody. not every single person, but there's a whole there's a raid on the chicken ranch that I that my character Melvin P. Thorpe does and I run in there and kind of upset everybody in the middle of the night while they're right. you know having chicken and um, <laughs> they get surprised. Do you feel it's like people they say if you went to a nude beach? And if you were clothed and oh. the other people are unclothed, you are the one who tends to be embarrassed. You tell I've because been to, you're clothed, I've been you to, see. Have you been to a nudist no, place? No. All nude people, no, have you? No. Don't lie. <laughs> I know. Uh, one night. I know. He no, said I, one, one, one night. No, I never have. Well, all right, you know what happens? The first thing you do is take off your clothes because you don't want those people looking at you. Yeah, really, I tell saying. you, it's only just that, you know. And then, of course... Now, did you feel uncomfortable in this movie? They played volleyball while I was at the nudist camp. And the, you look the ball, and then you, don't, you just, on your head, you get such a face. From the, you don't know what to look at, you know what I mean? Ooh, uh, whoa, look at that, you know what I mean? You get a neck, it hurts your neck. It's tough. So, what were you doing at a nudist camp to begin with? Uh, Steve Allen said, would you like to interview nude people? And I said, no, no, blah. So I did. And, and, I, and, uh, and it was rather touching. It was really sweet. I mean, it, was a ni it turned out to be very yeah. nice. It wasn't, they were all lovely people, you know. Now, you've talked about your father on this show a lot. How yes. would your father have felt about something like this? Like he's from the old school. I, my father, you yeah. mean seeing nude, nudity, and, uh, and I think he would have liked Dolly a lot. I think, uh, well, you know, because he liked um, meat and potatoes. Um, <laughs> would you take, no, what would your dad say? He, I mean, he would say, he would say this. <laughs> I'm not like this. <laughs> and you say, let's go, Pine. He'd say, just a minute. <laughs> I want to get this in my brain so because I'm going to... <laughs> he, would, he would be fascinated. Yeah. He would, you know, oh, sure. He would laugh, I think. He wasn't puritanical then. No. Yeah. No. What does that mean? <laughs> well, you know, it's the puritan ethic type of thing. Well, he used to talk about witches. He said that once a witch got him, my father was very superstitious. Yeah. And he said that once a witch put a spell on him, and he says, I know could be with the gale. Understand? And I said, no, could be with the girl. I said, a witch did that? He said, yes. But then I said, okay, witch, no more. And then I could be with the girl. He really thought the Yes, he thought a girl made him, you know, for about a, 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 for about a year, he said he was impotent. Because a witch had put because a Because a witch. So he would have loved this. His impotence would have gone very quickly. Yes, I can see that. From meeting Dolly. Okay. Can I talk about Dolly for a moment? Yeah, well... Uh I got to do a commercial for it. Because I went trick or treating with her, and I'd like to tell you about that. Oh, I'd like to hear about it. We can, can we do this first? Yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. Same money, right? You get same money. Sure. <laughs> same money. Yeah. Uh, we'll be right back after this. We're talking with Dom DeLuise, and Betty White is here, and Jeff uh, Seidman, and we're going to Seinfeld, and the Mighty Carson Art Players will perform later. Now, you were wait. talking about Dolly Parton. Well, you see, we got to be friends on this movie, and... and uh, you never met her before? Or outside of just Canada? I, I met her. I met her once at a, at a, at a meeting uh, in, in New Orleans, and, and she was very sweet. But I, she, there's a, something about her. You know when you meet somebody, and then you, you start, start realizing that she is as sweet as you think she is? Yeah. And then it's a revelation to you. So... Uh, on Thanksgiving, I said, I'm going to go trick-or-treating with my kids. And she said, oh. Why would you go on Thanksgiving? <laughs> because I made a mistake. How sweet of you to mention it. <laughs> I thought it was a new uh, yes, Italian, no. Italian holiday I wasn't familiar with. That you it's, went out later than the rest it's of It's called a mistake. Uh, I'm sorry. You went on Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. Good. Right. That's before Thanksgiving. Yes. All ah, right. <laughs> you dirty rat. <laughs> All right. So anyway, it's that part when you get dressed up funny and you ask for candy. Yeah, Halloween. Halloween. So I said, well, I'm going to go out trick-or-treating with my kids. And she said, can I come? And I said, really? Uh, well, you know, Dolly is uh, very recognizable by the hair and, and uh, all the rest of her. So, so she said, well, I'm going to dress up. So anyway, she came to my house, right? She walked in and I didn't recognize her. She was uh, like a pregnant hillbilly. She had on a, uh, she was pregnant. You know, with Good. a pillow. Right. And, and she had on um, freckles, and her hair was kind of wherever it was, I don't know, but it was, uh, uh, she had like a, a big bandana on her head. She had 
eyebrows like um, Groucho Marx, and she had penciled marks in here, red, red cheeks, big red lips, and he had, every other tooth was blacked out. This is something she this wanted This is to Dolly Parton. Well, now, I got dressed up like a Turkish prince with a purple cape and stuff, and so we went out with my kids. So there's a little kid, David, he was a beat-up bum with, you know, he was a bum, and, well, and then Michael was a, a motorcycle guy. So we opened the door, I mean, and the person came and said, for, one guy said, isn't there an age requirement? <laughs> I'm a big person, of right? Of course. So then, the, so another, another another guy gave out candy to David, candy to Michael, and then he, he looked and he said, "You're a big little girl." <laughs> gave a candy, you know, and then, um, and in fact, uh, Max was there, and so there was another kid. Now there's a guy who gives out pomegranates, right? So he's got a big, he's got a tree, and, and he's got pomegranates. So he gave one pomegranate to me, looked a little funny, sighed, so gave one to David, one to Max, one to, and then. He gave two to Dolly. <laughs> I thought that was sweet. Oh, that's cute. But we did it for an hour. <laughs> we did it for an hour and a half. And I'm telling you, she was asking for candy. We went, I, I It was actually, like going back to childhood. I've never that's done all. that. Usually I'm saying, David, get away from that bush. Michael, give him back his candy. And you're out there dressed up in a purple cape. I was in a purple cape and I had a great time. It was wonderful. We're all children at heart. Well, you wouldn't do that. Would you dress up funny? I don't. And go to people's house and disguise you. You couldn't disguise yourself. I'm not. I'm not a big costume uh, person. I, you know, I do not generally like costume parties, and I'll tell you why. You hold a costume party. Everybody goes and they work on the crazy costume. I go and naked they, with a with a, you, a raisin in my. Uh, you know what I'm saying? People put on outlandish outfits. You go there, and the first thirty seconds, everybody goes, "Oh, that's." hysterical and you're stuck the rest of the night in that stupid outfit after everybody has seen it and you got to walk yeah, around that, that way the rest of the but night but you have to drink and and, and take oh, drugs that's and the drink. Like that. but a good costume <laughs> you know to keep up the fun but a very good costume is a raisin you put a raisin in your navel you walk in forward and you are a raisin cookie if the raisin falls out you turn around you become a parker house roll <laughs> you go you go to a you go to a different level of, of parties than I do, obviously. Well, Elizabeth Taylor does that. Somebody told me she gets dressed up and with oh, a yeah. raisin. Oh, get come with on it, now. John. Get with it. Yes, Elizabeth Taylor dresses up and goes and gets candy. Oh, no. that's how she gained that weight. Is that no, no, no. But no, I mean the fun part of it. She's brilliant in her show, uh, Little Foxes, really. Yeah, I haven't yes. seen it yet. And Maureen Stapleton. Oh, you haven't seen it? No. It's really good. It's about this family that wants to kill each other. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of laughs, you know? You, speaking of your family, do you, do you get together on holidays? I mean, outside of... I do. We get together. I love my family. I just love them. I, I really feel very blessed. I mean, I, got, I have a job, and then I go home, and I have a family, and I love it. That's great. You know, it's a little scary, because Thanksgiving is coming up, and I'm going to be in New York, and we tend to... Eat until somebody oh, dies. Oh. <laughs> you mean you really binge it out on Thanksgiving? Oh, please. You know what an antipasto is, all those wonderful yes. things. And then there's a soup minister with sausages and then a wonderful soup and you know, it's escarole, great, you know. And then already you're getting a little sleepy from the soup. And then lasagna. And then when you make the, the sauce, there's, you know, meatballs and sausages. And then that comes on, you know, a little salad. And then they bring on a turkey and they go, get out of here. <laughs> Following the lasagna and turkey. sausage Get with a turkey? <laughs> you don't eat, no, that, you just have a little bit until, I mean, finally the bird just says, somebody, bite me. You know, we have no use for the bird. We have no use the for the bird. bird becomes a centerpiece. That's I right, did. it's a centerpiece, that's it. You know what I mean? Uh, it's tough. Man. All right, we're going uh, to take a little break here. Fabulous. Then we will be back, yes. And, the, and the, well, well, we don't know. It could be a fabulous... But then the Mighty Cars and our players Ooh, will perform. Yes. That's going to be great. Well, we'll find out. <laughs>